Tomorrow for you, if you like, when the audience... Inspector Darblay, I presume. <laughs> Hello, Ronnie. Let's go and find the bar, shall we, Jean? Oh, the less fur and feathers flying. Right. That's all I'm asking. Well, she's no matter. Problems. Par for the course at dress rehearsal. Be all right on the night. I hope. What are you having to drink? I won't, thanks. I'm driving. Well, then, what can I do for you, Jean? Well, it's a bit of a shot in the dark, really. We've had a couple of thefts in the town centre this last week. Both jobs were the work of the same man. Oh, yeah. His trademark seems to be that he goes in for makeup and pretty authentic disguise. Oh, yes. I read something about that in the local rag. What was it they nicknamed him? Dick Emery. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, so, can I, how, how can I help? Well, one of the theories we had was that he might be some sort of theatrical. Both disguises he's used have been very convincing. Pretty professional, in fact. Oh, yeah. If there was someone like that living in Hartley, someone who'd been in the business, perhaps, presumably you'd know him if anyone would. Possibly, not necessarily. No? Oh, no. In fact, there's no real guarantee at all that he'd gravitate towards us. But you are the only theatre in town. <laughs> That's not the point, you see. Pros and amateurs don't generally mix. Fire and water, in fact. Why? My private theory is that most pros were amateurs themselves once and would prefer to forget the fact. And most amateurs think they're at least as good as pros, but nobody seems to realise it. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, if anything does occur to you. I'll give you a ring, of course. All sorted out then, is it, Teddy? World War Three. We've come to a very amicable arrangement. He's carrying on with his rehearsals, and I'm going to leave him to build his own bloody set when he's finished. Don't be like that. Well, I what, Ron? I tell you, I've had it. These actors down here, they reckon the sets build themselves. Grow up out of the floorboards overnight while they're in their little beds. Have a pint. Drown your sorrows. Pint, please, Charlie. Inspector Darbley, Ted Grimshaw, the best stage manager in the business. Flattery, Mr. Chairman, will get you nowhere. Hello. Hello. What's up? Somebody been nicking the takings again, have they? <laughs> Something like that. Look, sure you won't have a drink? Positive, thanks. In fact, I must be going. Now, you will let me know if you have any thoughts, Ronnie. Of course. Thanks. Bye-bye. Do you know your way out? Oh, yes. <laughs> Bye. What was all that about, then? 